In today's video, we'll be talking about how to recover a lost phone, and we're starting right now. If you like mobile-related content like this one, please subscribe so you don't miss out on all the pro tips and tricks that I'll be dropping in subsequent videos. Let's jump right in. If you've ever lost a phone, then you understand the emotions that is associated with losing something as important as a smartphone. One of the most important things for you to do to make sure that you are able to recover this phone is to make it as difficult as possible for whoever took your phone to be able to switch it off. Because of course we know that once somebody takes possession of another person's phone, the first thing they'll want to do is to switch it off so that the person will not be able to come in contact with that phone again, or at least not be able to call that number and get a response. For you to prevent the phone from going off when you do not want it to go off, you need to install this app, Lock.io. Lock.io is the app that will enable you to put up a lock screen when somebody tries to switch off your phone. To install Lock.io, go to Play Store, search for Lock.io, L-O-C-K, IO. The app will come up, you download and install, follow the setup process, it will ask you to select language, agree to terms of service and so on. So once you have successfully done that, anytime you press the power button to switch off the phone, instead of bringing up the, the shutdown menu, it brings up a lock screen. So if it is you, the owner of the phone that wants to switch it off, you can either enter your pattern, your PIN, or your password before you can shut it down. It makes it difficult for an unauthorized person to sh shut down your phone in a case maybe your phone gets missing or you get dispossessed in one way or the other. The second tool that you will use in a case you lose your phone is Find My Phone. Find My Phone is an app by Google that enables owners of devices to track down their devices when it is turned on. Now, you see why it is important to prevent someone from shutting it down so that if your phone is still turned on, you can now use Find My Phone to find and locate that device. So go ahead and download Find My Phone, set it up, log in to that uh, app with your email address so that in a case where you get dispossessed of your device, you can log in to find my phone on any other device, a laptop or a friend's phone, with that email address that you use to set up your Find My Phone on your device, provided your phone is not switched off. To locate your device using Find My Phone, log in to either Google Dashboard or Find My Phone on any other device. Log in with the email address that you use in setting up your device. Once you are logged in with the correct email, you will see a list of devices attached to that email address. Then you select the one that you are interested in finding, and then Google will try to contact that device and, and kind of, you know, give you access to that device and also tell you where exactly in the world that device is on the map. Once you've been able to locate the phone, you've been able to create contact with the phone. If there was no lock screen on the phone, of course, you can lock the phone remotely using Find My Phone. That is, that's the option they call secure, okay? They allow you to secure your phone remotely in a case where there was no lock screen on the device. Besides that, you can wipe the contents of the phone. You can wipe the contents of the phone in a case where you are sure you will not be able to gain access to that device again. You can copy the IMEI of that, of that device to enable you to do further investigation to ensure that either the police or any other authorized people can help you track down that particular device. So that's that for today. If you enjoyed today's video, please smash the like button and subscribe to my channel. That means a whole lot to me. And we will see in the next video.